those people on YouTube who say you must always regularly absolutely post something even if it's rubbish it's quite possible today is rubbish but never mind if you subscribe you may get a surprise in a few months time and have something that's not anyway have a look at this This pot uh, done with Scarvo crank, same as the pre Columbian pot thing, uh, started off as a backup just in case I managed to break something on the other one. That's the top bit there. So maybe that's going to form some sort of a basis and it becomes a pot. Continuing my pre-Columbian influence, I may make it tripod feet there, going on, bring it up about that far from the ground, uh, and something on the top, turtle head maybe as a handle, and uh, some sort of decoration inscription. Okay, so what I've done is, now that I've done this joint between this and the body, um, I want it to dry out a little, not a lot, just a little. So I've placed a sheet of the dreaded cling film all the way inside the pot and on the outside so that it maintains some sort of separation and will allow me to split this lid off when I'm ready and then I put the lid on to hold the shape and I'll just cover the whole thing with a damp cloth and let it stand until tomorrow when I'll get on with it and there you can see it opens up a bit like one of those fancy easter eggs where you have all the chocolates in the middle only thing that's missing is the chocolates in the middle. So what I've done is I've drawn a line around this neck band, for want of a better phrase, so as a guide, and then using a, a steel scraper, just as an edge and a knife, I've gone around that mark. So that I can separate the bottom off because I think it's too thick. I measured it at 30 millimeters when I first put it in there and I reckon that's too big. So having done that I can now remove the bottom hopefully without doing too much damage to the pot beneath it. There we go. Not perfect, but it'll work out. So here we've got the lid, which is the bit I built first. Um, it'll all get smoothed out in the end, but it's mainly the structure I want to get right now. So what I'm going to do is put this back on like that somewhere as I said earlier on it's pretty pliable still Honk. 
that fits. What remains is for me to draw another line along here to cut off so that I have a narrow rim uh, to paddle and get smooth and to decorate. Because proportionately you can see that that is too, it's too uh, thick. It looks a bit like a displaced Saturn. Or There we go. This is the bit that looks good because I lift it and it all comes off in sort of one piece. Right, there we go. Oh, there we go. How's that? Looks a bit like a cartoon character, but never mind. And by the time I've paddled that back in, it'll fit well. This is my favourite paddle, this. Bought it in Cape Town <clears throat> at one of the supermarkets for a whole £1.50 and it's been my continuous companion ever since. Of course, because of the physics of compressing a piece of clay like this or anything, eventually it's going to end up with a whole bunch of slack, if that's no trouble. We'll just cut it off and join it up in the middle. I was a little bit uh, concerned about the strength of the join here. So I scraped it out with a something and uh, filled a little roll of clay in there with lots of water and scraped it off. So we'll see how that comes out. By the way, for any of you who are concerned, not for my work, but for yours, that at this stage, it looks a bit horrible and it's never going to be right. Have some faith. It will be right. I do this often. At one stage when I looked at my pre-Columbian turtle thing, brackets, see previous episodes, close brackets. I really thought this is going to be no good, but it came out okay. And Mar Marina, who is my wonderful patron from Edinburgh, seems to like it a lot. So just have faith in yourself. Don't judge your work until you come to the end of it. And I learned something else too. When you come to the end of it and you look at it sitting on your dining room table or in your studio and you go, then like it, have some more faith. Give it a couple of days and then make a decision. And this really is enough now. Oh yes, and according to all the gurus, I'm going to have to say, do subscribe to my channel. If you subscribe, somebody else might follow. Um, that's the little subscribe thing on the side of your screen. And there's a little bell which will tell you when I write some more rubbish or put some more rubbish on. Uh, if you click those, make some sort of comment, I'd be grateful. Thank you.